Now, doing this here with your eyes will help you compress the golf ball way easier. Because what doing this with your eyes coming into the golf shop will do, where your eyes are swiveling and looking down, almost the target before you've hit the golf ball, like a Henrik Stenson, Annika Sorensen, David Duval, even Dustin Johnson with his short irons. That's gonna help you rotate that little bit better going through the golf shot. It's gonna give you a little bit more freedom of rotation of your chest. When your eyes swivel down at speed, your chest will do the same thing. It will rotate alongside with it. And we know to compress the golf ball, what do we need? Shaft lean. We need it. What creates shaft lean? Rotation. So if we can free up rotation and gain a little bit more of it, we're gonna compress the ball better because if you're struggling with compression, you're not getting enough of it. Now I know a lot of you though, won't do that. Why you won't do that? Why you won't let those eyes freely travel down if you're struggling with that rotation it's because you've been told to do this your entire golfing life keep those eyes down until post impact eyes staying down head and eyes have to be dead down onto the ground now does that help you no it doesn't absolutely does not and why that doesn't help you is because if you're trying to keep those eyes locked down even till post impact that is going to slow down your rate of rotation so your rotation will get slower. It will anchor you down to the ground. Now, lifting the head up like this, yes, not the best thing to do. That will pull the club more up. You'd probably top the golf ball, but keeping the eyes down won't do anything positive to your golf swing. If you struggle with rotation, swivel them to rotate more. We see loads of the top players do it now. One of the newer players, Sam Horsfield, does the same thing. Swivels them down. Look at his head as he's going into the golf ball. You'll see it swiveling as you go through. Helps with rotation. So really from there, I want to see you as you're getting into impact or just before, look at the target. It'll feel incredibly uncomfortable for sure. It'll feel very uncomfortable, but let's say you hit a bad shot doing it. It's not because you've taken your eye off the golf ball. It's nonsense. It's just making you rotate more, almost adding a little bit more side bend by getting the ear to the golf ball also, which will be keeping you in your posture, not coming out of it. So do that and you're gonna see more rotation start to happen from it. I'm trying to get it more into my golf swing. Helps me tremendously to turn more because I struggle with chest rotation going through the golf ball and the rate of it. But just because you see a top professional not do that, not swivel those highs down, doesn't mean you can't do it. So a lot of the things you see top players do, they're not actually trying to even do it. A lot of the players aren't trying to physically keep their eyes down on the golf ball and turning through. Now, when other golf YouTubers have made this video, I remember some really big channels, really top channel on YouTube made a video about this and it got such negative response in the comments section because a lot of golfers thought they were more qualified than that YouTube coach to talk about the golf swing. He was dead right with what he was talking about on the golf swing. Keeping your eyes locked onto the ground will not benefit you one bit. You wanna rotate more, swivel those eyes. Rotation will create more compression. So if you enjoyed this video, click that like button. If you want more golf instruction just like this, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button too, to be notified every time I put out a video. So you want that more compression, you're serious about it, Swivel those eyes down. Don't care how you look. You're going to play better for it.